Hello guys, how are you all doing? So this is a really simple routine to be honest. And uh, before I begin, let me explain that this is a Chinese dollar coin. Uh, I bought it in China, but this is not an easy coin to get online, uh, mainly because of the size. You need to get a Chinese coin that it matches the size of the coin you're using. And because I'm using the one dollar size coins, American coins, this is called the Eisenhower dollar coin. The Eisenhower dollar coin, they are pretty common, but the Chinese coin, um, it is not um, for the same size of the Eisenhower. In the usual size of the Chinese coin, they usually are about half size dollar coins, about the Kennedy half dollar size coins. Anyway, you can use any other coins as long as you make a good contrast from these other ones, okay? But in the dialogue, you can use it as an excuse the Chinese coins they do have a little hole and that's how it goes through each and every one of these coins. Or you can just simply, you know, drill a little hole in the center and paint it in black color. But as long as it made a good contrast from the rest of them, that's gonna be good enough. Okay, so this is how it works. Make sure you spread the coins like this to the opposite way. So this coin is, you know, almost outside of it from the spread. Okay, so you pick up one two and the third one make sure that the second coin is surpasses or it goes a little further beyond the third coin okay because you are gonna leave it over there you're pretending you're picking it up but you're gonna actually leave it over there let me show it to you okay i just leave it behind but the pinky middle and green finger these three fingers are concealed in the front the fact that i'm leaving the coin over there the audience, they don't see that because I'm covering over here. And the index is also joining the middle finger over here. You know, all fingers together. Okay. Pick it up. So right there, you drop in the, the third coin from the top. And go this way and spread. Okay. Try not to leave the coin halfway outside the Chinese coin. Make sure it goes the further beyond. Like that. The second time, I'm not going to pick them up. I'm gonna drag them, okay? But I'm gonna leave the second coin behind. Notice? Okay. And once I really reach the point of the Chinese coin, hold the Chinese coin and keep dragging it on the front, leaving the second coin behind, okay? And that's it. That's how the second um, phase works. Let me repeat it once again. So I don't have to repeat this step. Notice I'm not really holding the coin, I'm just pushing the coin down. But it, it seems like I'm holding the coin. Because if I hold the coin, I'm pretty much going to drag the second coin as well. And because I want to leave the second coin behind, I'm just going to push it down. From here, as soon as I reach the Chinese coin, I'm going to uh, hold the Chinese coin and keep pushing forward, leaving the second coin behind. Okay. That's it. A regular speed. Notice all fingers are together, covering in the front. And there I left the coin, the second coin. And then I spread back, okay. And because you keep spreading backward and going one coin behind, you keep moving further and further towards the whatever hand you're using. And the last one, okay. I try to go at regular speed, at a decent speed. Notice the last phase because I'm using four coins and by the absence, I'm going to steal the coin that is all the way on top. I'm going to leave it on the side. But it's important that you spread the four coins a little bit further toward the front, okay, toward the audience. Uh, let me spread it over here towards the camera so you'll see uh, what I'm talking about, the, the point that I'm trying to make. Notice, if I keep on complete this square, you can see how many coins I have. But if I keep it in a little spread, in a little of an angle, um, you may perceive the thickness, but you don't know how many coins I have. Okay? Mainly when you're watching uh, from the front. So, if I have four, or if I have three, it's not as easy to tell. But because of the speed, the way I'm going to spread them again, I'm going to show it to you at regular speed. Okay, I push down as an excuse that the Chinese coin need to go all the way through. Push down. I'm holding the coin. 
but from here I'll move to the side and then bring the dollar once again with a pinky all the way here but I'm using both hands okay so this hand doesn't look too suspicious that's why I'm using both hands in the routine okay from here move to that side hold it uh, the dollar size coins it provides me um, the right size so I don't have to bring the fingers you know so weird close together so I'm just holding the coin like this move to the side right away bring it back with a pinky finger as an excuse you wanna drag these four coins apparently and I spread them immediately you know um, the last phase of this routine it may look suspicious that's why i'm trying to maybe not to hurry up but at least go at a, at a decent speed without stopping okay push down go away bring it back the coin pick up everything and spread okay and you can kick it out and that's it you can just show the coins don't let the audience to think for too long that's why this last phase it is important that you hurry up okay regular speed push using both hands and take both hands away as you're watching the routine go uh, pick up everything and spread kick out the coin and that's it it is a quite easy routine let me do it at regular speed so you can see all the steps without explaining anything this is going to be just the overview okay i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial